Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at Ravel's 1964 Chevrolet Impala Super Sport 2-in-1, part of their lowrider line. Ravel's part number is 852574. Here's a look at it being built as a lowrider and as a stock Super Sport. Opening hood, opening trunk, copyright of 2011. Side panel shows eight and a half inches long and 150 parts. Let's take a look inside. Here we have our first bag, molded in white. What's our clear red? Six lights for the, the Impala. Here we have two sets of tires, plain sidewall for our stock, some nice tread there. And for the lowriders, they are Dunlop SP Sport DS, nice tread there. Next, we have our clears. Looks like our dash lens there and a clear washer tank. Here are some of our low rider parts, different suspensions, different heights, wheel backs, spring heights, intake horns, two sets of battery packs, and it looks like an amplifier. Some more low rider specialties. We got some chrome spokes, knockoffs, chain steering wheel, chrome air cleaner, carburetor. There's our hydraulic pumps. Looks like a dash plaque, and there's some switch box there. One more pack of chrome. Looks like we have part of the dash. Alternator, a couple of mirrors, door handles, the rear seat speaker, some chrome valve covers. There's the hood, both bumpers grill, your stock wheel covers, and another carburetor there. Chrome transmission pan, that's different. Wipers, shifter. Here's our instructions. Uh, looks like the decals got scrunched a bit. Got some two different white walls. Some graphics for the lowrider. Some Chevrolet emblems, Impala emblems. Got some wheel covers, 327 trunk, side badging, lots of small wheel centers, the way it looks, a couple of license plates, all right I've got the white parts out of the bag so I can take a closer look there's a beautiful 64 Impala body. We got some script on the back there. Impala Super Sport. And up here on the fender. The V with the flags for the V8. Here's our chassis pan. We got some hood hinges, fan shroud, steering column, dash, our bucket seats. You can see all sorts of motor bits, distributor, fuel pump, 
coils, fill cap starter, big dual exhaust, drive shaft, center console. Does have the super sport badge in the middle. the rear seat the big old x-frame steering component radiator sport and firewall rear suspension and springs shocks and there's tail panel sorry getting a little focus issue it's an engine looks like an automatic transmission Ram horn exhaust, mailbox fans, lines, hoses, A arms, water pump, time engine cover, boosters, spindles. There's the super sport door panels, nice detail. There's your trunk floor for the custom look. Part of the rear end housing, oil pan, heads, radiator, links, air cleaner, seat backs. Right, here we have the big old deck lid, chrome, some badging molded in, Chevrolet scripts, some under deck lid detail jump over to the hood on the underside has some detail very light but gets the job done molded in chrome looks to be a very detailed and well planned out kit if you stay tuned to the channel there will be a couple of built ups on this channel one of a day two type build and also, a best representation of my first car, which was a 64 two-door hardtop. It wasn't a Super Sport, but I'm going to challenge myself to make it a non-Super Sport. And stay tuned to the end of the video. I will make stills of all the trees and some of the decals.